Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? Whoops. Come in again, huh? Weather was nicer today. Still a little cold, though. I'm still seeing freeze alerts in the forecast. Although, we're not getting that cold. Some raspy meals there. You gonna come in? Wow. Okay. Table. Let's get the board. Okay. <clears throat> so it yeah cleared up. I think overnight, so we didn't get any more rain after that. Kind of a. Uh, Surprise 10 minute storm that we got last night right before dinner. <clears throat> so today was clear and sunny. Very strange weather we're having. The forecast for tomorrow actually, and I think the following day actually has clouds, so it's going to be overcast at night. But they're not suggesting rain, at least not yet. But as I said, the forecast has been very unreliable the past few weeks. It's usually not that bad here. It's, you know, usually our weather is pretty predictable. But I guess unpredictable is probably good for us because yeah, we've been in drought for like ever. So usually when it's unpredictable, that means chance of rain. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, it did get pretty cold overnight, though, as I said, yeah, we didn't really get that close to freezing, but yeah, it got cold enough that the house was really cold. I was trying to stay warm. Probably should have turned up the thermostat. <clears throat> I forgot to turn it on again until late, so the house is really cold. And I had trouble getting to sleep. So I think I woke up in the middle of the night and uh, struggled to get back to sleep. I finally got back to sleep very early morning. Still way before uh, sunrise, but <clears throat> I ended up waking up late today. I didn't sleep all last night. So I've been trying to play catch up all day. So I didn't go out. So I had, I think. At least two runs in a uh, two runs on a bike ride, somewhere in there. Can't remember if I've done two bike rides in a row or not. I don't think I did. But I'm like on that cusp of probably needing a recovery day, a rest day. So took it today. Though so maybe I should have went out today since yeah the forecast is showing uh, clouds tomorrow and the following day. So who knows, it might get rain, so I can't go out.
And yeah, with how many fallen trees we've had recently in the last actually couple years. Yeah, I don't want to be out <laughs> in the bad weather because the tree will probably fall on me. Because even in the good weather, I think the trees have been falling. Uh, falling. Not sure why. Might be something wrong with the trees. Might be diseased. Oh, just rip your leg, raise his leg there. Oh, when I did go out for a bike ride, uh, yeah, two days ago was it? I mentioned like a week, week or two ago, I encountered a guy who was kind of a jerk and or slightly crazy. So there's this guy every now and then I see he's running um, <clears throat> um, in the street, kind of in the bike lane against traffic. And a few times I've seen him yelling uh, at, I'm not sure who. <laughs> he's like kind of all alone. I think maybe he's been re uh, yelling at cars or something. Um, but the last time I saw him, he was yelling at me. So I saw him and he was running you know, in my lane, you know, in the bike lane and he's running against traffic and he's like smack in the middle of the lane taking up a lot of space so he's not even making space for me to pass by and I um, oh, I his wrong head in that club there <clears throat> and so he the last time I encountered him you know I was trying to figure out how to avoid him without having to actually you know get run over by traffic and as I was uh, passing him, he was yelling at me for not paying attention, I think. So I need to look up, and uh, I forgot what else he was screaming at me. And I clearly saw him. I didn't need to look up. I knew where he was. And I used the jerk that was uh, taking up the whole lane, running against traffic. And uh, I was worried that if I tried to dodge inward, avoiding the traffic, he might dodge the same way at the same time, and then we'd still hit each other, and so ultimately he made me swerve out into the street, because he just wouldn't, he wouldn't move, he was just taking up tons of space, and he was screaming at me for being, being the jerk, or not paying attention, or whatever, so, you know, he was a real jerk. I don't know, maybe he's slightly crazy, because, yeah, he, I've seen him yell kind of at nothing before, so, you know, cars or something, so he might be a little off, but, yeah, he's a jerk either way, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> and, yeah, he, you know, looks like he's a runner, because, yeah, he's pretty skinny, and he's wearing, you know, kind of runner's attire, and, you know, very bright clothing, and... Um, looks to be in pretty good shape, but yeah, he's a jerk. <laughs> so. so anyway, I saw him um, the other day, and uh, it's kind of almost the same area, um, but this time I was... Um, as he was approaching, I was actually stopped in an intersection uh, waiting for a traffic light. And so uh, by the time the traffic light uh, turned green, I think yeah, he had reached the intersection and I just kind of let him start crossing the street first before I, you know, started pedaling because I was also checking the traffic uh, behind me, which is because I, I also knew if this guy's going to give me trouble. I don't want to have to swerve out into the street again, and you know, there are cars waiting at the light like I am, so I don't want to swerve out right in front of them. So I kind of let them go first. And this time he just passed without saying a thing or being a nuisance, so he just went on his business. 
didn't seem to have any issue with me, so that's good. But. <clears throat> I'm weary of that guy. <laughs> I'm going to get scruffy his food now. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't think I saw Scruffy this morning, but I saw him the rest of the day. So at lunch, and then after lunch, you know, he moved out to, uh, he was actually under the, the circular table out in the middle of the deck. So getting a little bit of sun, but also a little shade there. So, <clears throat> and then shortly after he moved, relocated, and he jumped up, or he yeah, jumped up on the big table, and he stayed there, I think, the rest of the afternoon. So I saw him sleeping on the big table in different positions. So I think, yeah, he moved around quite a bit today. <clears throat> I'm not sure why he was so mobile today. Weather was nice. I thought he'd probably hang out in the deck or something where the sun was, but he might do that for a little bit of time. And then at lunch, uh, I think he heard me prepping the food because I think when I looked out the window, he wasn't there. And then um, after I was finished prepping the food, I saw him. He was lined up or you know, getting lined up, facing uh, or in sight, looking at the door. So maybe he heard me uh, getting the dishes ready or something. But yeah, we did our thing, and I. Um, I tried just spreading the kibble out in the plate a little more. Some of it near the base of the bowl, but other not uh, others not so much, but just a little more spread out, thinking maybe that might slow him down. But as a as I was watching him, I noticed even when the kibble is like next to the bowl, he's still only eating like one. He's grabbing like one piece at a time, so I don't think I don't think spreading it out does any good. Because he's still eating it one at a time, either way. And I think against the base of the bowl, it slows him down more, just because he has a hard time getting his head under there. Hey, Scrappy. Looks like we're back to sunny. I think the rain stopped for a while. I don't know, I still don't trust the forecast. I'm getting really weird weather recently. But today it looks very, very clear and sunny. So I probably won't get any rain today. It's a little cold though, but it actually feels like it warmed up now. So you ready for your kibble of water? Oops. I dropped a piece of kibble in the crack. So I lost that one. <clears throat> so I'm trying to spread out the kibble now. So since Scruffy's still throwing up, 
thinking maybe if I spread it out a little more. Tonight's dinner is it's a fresh can of meaty pate with grilled chicken and tuna. And then we got our kibble and more rotisserie chicken scraps. I think the irony is I think I've run out of a uh, chicken for myself, <laughs> but I got plenty of scraps for Scrappy. I saw in the local media that the park that I go biking at, actually, yeah, the local media did cover it um, and covered its closure. And so they, you know, they actually got a, you know, a personal tour of basically all the storm damage, <clears throat> which is why the park is closed. And so I saw some pictures and. Um, I'm not sure if they're any worse than the pictures that they uh, put at the front of the park. And they didn't have any, they didn't have the picture of the collapsed uh, cabin, historical cabin or whatever it was. So they didn't cover that in the media, but, um, but they have that picture out in the, in, uh, at the entrance. <clears throat> um, but the media did have some different pictures and yeah, some, yeah, the trails definitely were not, not in great shape. Um, but they, they had pictures of that too, but, um, I didn't think it would be that bad. Just, um, I didn't think it would take them this long to clean up. Um, they did get a, a good picture that was not taken, uh, um, it, or not at the front of the creek. And at least at the time that the media was there, yeah, the creek was, it wasn't overflowing, but it was, it was the most water I've seen in that creek, I think, ever. <clears throat> it might have been one other time. There might have been some more, but uh, it was a long, long time ago. <clears throat> but yeah, the water was, it looked like it was, yeah, really rushing, so. Did have a lot of water. I don't know what it's like now. It's been over a month since the park's been closed. I don't know when the report was done. I didn't see the date. But uh, in the interview with the park ranger, um, I think the, the ranger described the park as like a box canyon, I think he said it was. So basically, so the problem is that uh, so normally, even in good times, because it's a box canyon, when you know rocks come crashing down, they come crashing straight down. And so um, I think they're concerned because they said uh, the whole area is now completely saturated with you know water, and so I think their concern is that the the canyons may just have slide you know rock slides at any time. 
and they come straight down on people if they're there. So <clears throat> they didn't give any clue about when they're going to say it's safe to come in and reopen it. I don't know, maybe they're going to wait for whole whole canyon to dry out. Could be a few more months. Move the balls for Scruffy. He did a pretty good job pointing the ball. I only see one piece of kibble. Oops, and I knocked, knocked that one piece of kibble out of the bowl. Oops. It's on the ground there next to my finger. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll find it eventually. There's a little bit of you know, speckles of pate, so I think he's looking at. So I should search the media, see what other parks have closed and what other ones they've uh, interviewed. Not that I'm planning to go to any of those other ones. They're all kind of far. I'm going to have to take my car to get to the other ones. Okay, well I'm going to get up. <clears throat> okay, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.